You're listening to the Focused and Fearless podcast. I'm your host, Heather Angel, and I've been helping people tune in to what lights them up and increase their personal and professional performance for over a decade. Now I'm best known as a high performance coach helping entrepreneurs like you cut through the noise and create a business and life on your terms. If you're ready to step out of struggle and discover how simple it can be to create a fulfilling, joyful and successful business without all the overwhelm and long hours, you're in the right place. Hey lovelies, in this episode we are going to dive into how you can create a whole month's content in just one day. I have been so looking forward to sharing this with you because this has been a game changer for me. I have tried lots of different processes and systems to help me reduce the amount of time I'm spending scheduling and creating content, but still being everywhere and still delivering value for my audience. So that is what we're gonna get into today. Now, something else to be aware of is a date for your diary. So Monday the 23rd, I think, of March, (laughs) I think that's the right date, I am going to be starting off a free training week in my Freedom from One to One Facebook group. So that is a free community group that I have helping people, coaches, consultants, therapists, healers, move away from trading their time for money in their one-to-one role, in their one-to-one practices, and creating a one-to-many model. So memberships, courses, group programs, whether that be offline or online, I help them create more impact and more money in their business. So that is what we're doing. We are gonna do a training all week, week commencing 23rd of March. So don't miss it, it's completely free. It's my gift to you. It's inside the Freedom From One To One Facebook group. They're already very excited. And so I just wanted to let you know that that is happening. So the link is around wherever you're listening to this, it'll be in the show notes and you can come and join us in there. So let's talk about how you can batch create your content. And holy moly, this will be a game changer because this can save you hours, hours of your time. So just to let you know, the process that I'm gonna talk you through does use a virtual assistant, but don't switch off if you're like, oh, I'm just starting, I don't have an assistant yet that's maybe a conversation we need to have about why you haven't maybe outsourced a few things already, but you can do this process without an assistant. It may just take you a day and a half, okay? So I'm gonna talk you through what I do, how it works, and also give you a couple of tools which are super inexpensive um, to use to make things a lot easier and quicker for you. Okay, so first thing I do, step one, is I create my video content. Now, if you're not creating video content, uh, why not? (laughs) Because it works so well. Video content works beautifully. You do not need, you know, I have a videographer, I'm very lucky, but you don't need that. You can just literally get out your iPhone, okay? You do not need it to be flashy and professional. You could just use your webcam um, and a decent light, which you can get for like 12 quid off Amazon, okay? Don't overcomplicate it, create video. If you are absolutely digging your heels and you're like, hell to the no, I am not creating video, create some audio. Maybe do a podcast, they're fun. (laughs) Or maybe just create some audio content that you can put onto uh, your Facebook page or something like that. I would highly recommend video. So my process is that I work with my videographer on the first Tuesday of the month and we spend a couple of hours together creating four or five videos. So we will shoot those four or five videos in in various different locations and what will happen is he will then get them to me edited. So that's the first thing I do. I create my video content. The second thing I do is I create my podcast content. So this episode, I don't know because I haven't got the schedule in front of me. I'm not quite sure when you're going to listen to this, (laughs) but I'm recording it on the 11th of February. But I think you're probably going to listen to this maybe the first week of March. I think that's when it's on my schedule because batch creating is how I manage my time in my business. So I create my podcast episodes. I commit to a minimum of four. So then I've had four videos made as a minimum, sometimes five, and four podcast episodes. That's a month's worth of content. The next bit is where it gets really exciting. That content, whether it's audio or video, 
I can then upload to an amazing service called temi.com, T-E-M-I.com. Now, I'm not an affiliate or anything. This isn't me promoting something because I'm getting commission. They have no idea who I am. <laughs> I'm just promoting it because it's amazing. And it's 10 cents a minute for transcriptions. So what happens is you upload your video. So ideally, you know, if you're looking at doing a video or an audio for the transcription to be made from it, aim for anywhere between two and four minutes. You don't really want a long long piece of content to be transcribed. I never transcribe my podcasts because they're far more in depth and longer and generally more rambly (laughs) than my videos are. My videos are very succinct and to the point and are usually between two and five minutes. So upload that content to temi.com and what it will do is it will transcribe that for you, which, and I don't want to teach you how to suck eggs, but if you're wondering like what on earth does that mean? It means that ultimately you will end up with everything you said in the written word as downloadable documents. Super useful because, oh, hello, you now have four blog posts. Now, you do need to edit these, okay? The way we speak is not always grammatically correct for the written word. So a blog post is not always gonna read very well if you literally transcribe it and put it on your blog. So you do need to take some time to just run through it and edit it, which is very easy on Temi. You will find out when you use it. It's just amazing. So I've just, uh, I shared today actually on Instagram that I uploaded, I think it was four videos and got them transcribed. It cost me a dollar eighty. It's so cheap and so time saving. It's just amazing. So definitely use Temi to create blog posts out of the videos you've made. So you want to get them edited. You can do that. Absolutely, you can do that. I wouldn't. I don't. I get my assistant to do that. She's amazing. She runs through them, makes sure they all read correctly, makes sure the spacing's correct, and she then uploads them onto my website and schedules them as my blog posts. So that's the next thing. So you've created videos. You've maybe created your podcast as well. And then you've transcribed the videos to create your blog posts. Did I say blog post earlier or did I say podcast? I don't know. I'm not going to (laughs) re-record. So you've got your videos, you've got your podcast episodes, you've now got your blog posts. Within those blogs, you can then take out little snippets, little quotes, maybe the odd sentence here and there, and that is your social media content. Okay, you do not need to keep reinventing the wheel to create content. If you've created an amazing video, which is really valuable, and you've then put it into a blog, use a couple of sentences or a couple of quotes and make that into an Instagram post or a Facebook post, LinkedIn post, whatever your platform of choice is. And then you schedule them. So once you've got your blog all done, you go and create some snippets out of there, just literally a copy and paste job, and you schedule them into Facebook, into Creator, Planoly, whatever it is you use as a tool, and you create your social media posts. Okay, it is that simple. So all of a sudden, out of one day of creating content, you've got, if you were following my system, you've got podcasts, you've got videos, you've got blogs, and you've got social media in one day. A whole month's content in one day. I mean, how good does that sound? Now, here's the thing. I have, and just being completely honest and transparent, I have an assistant. I have a videographer. So my videographer does all his amazing amazing work editing the videos. I don't have to do that. He does that for me. My podcast, I don't edit. You may have tell. (laughs) You can probably tell. um, Because I want this to be just a really natural flowing conversation. I'm not looking to have these polished and perfect. It's just, you know, just you and I shooting the breeze, (laughs) having a chat. So my podcasts aren't edited. I create the podcast, but my assistant then uploads them. She uploads the show notes and she does all of my social media scheduling. So I am 100% responsible for creating all of my content. And I actually think that's really important for the stage of business I'm at. I want to create all of my content. It's very much from my brain onto the page or onto the podcast, but I don't get involved in all the fiddly time consuming stuff. It's really poor use of my time and your time, sweet friend, okay? As the business owner, as a CEO in your business, as the person that is can, the only person that can really move the needle forward in your business right now, you do not want to be spending loads of time 
scheduling social media posts, someone else can do that for you. Yes, create the content. I do think that's actually really uh, a great idea, um, especially when you're first starting out, create the content because only really you know your methodology and what you wanna talk about. But after that, that's your responsibility done. Get someone else to schedule it and you know do the posts and all that kind of thing and do the editing because that's just get, keeping yourself in the weeds, keeping yourself in the busy work rather than doing what really matters. So really, really, really simple process. Record a video, okay? I'm gonna be quite prescriptive here because I think this is gonna just really help you. Record a video. If you have a podcast, record your podcast episodes as well. If not, don't worry. Record your video. Upload that video to temi.com and get it transcribed into a blog post. Post and schedule those blog posts for the following month. Schedule the videos for the following month. And then from those blog posts, take snippets and quotes and use them as your social media posts. Okay, it is that simple. Really, really simple. And remember on social media, there might be something you've said in one of your videos that you kind of look back and you go, wow, that was actually a real nugget of gold. I could really expand on that. Do it. Do a longer post on Instagram. Really engage your audience. Do a so you know, do a um, Instagram story about it. I talk about Instagram a lot because that is my favorite platform. Um, but you know, you can do that on LinkedIn, you can do it on Facebook, um, you know, promote it on Pinterest. You know, if you've got a lead magnet that relates to these videos, get it out there on Pinterest. You can repurpose those four simple bits of content, which were your four videos. All of this started with four videos. And out of those four videos, you've got a month's worth of content, which is keeping your website up to date, is keeping your followers entertained and educated and knowing that you're still around and you're engaging with them and it's it's just making life so much simple and the great thing about this is is you can choose one day a month to do this again if you're resisting getting an assistant to help you maybe one and a half maybe two days but you can just choose that time every single month so that you know those days are yours to create your content and make sure that your content is done Okay, it doesn't have to be this time consuming, stressful thing that you need to keep doing. And then the great thing is you can, you know, add little bits into, you know, I I don't plan all my Instagram. I plan a few posts for my Instagram using the process I've just explained. Most of the time, it's very off the cuff. You know, I'm on my social stories all the time, (laughs) on my Instagram stories all the time, um, because that's how I create content and that's where my audience engages with me but it means that you've got that freedom. So actually, if a curveball comes in, if your kids are sick, if you're not well, or if you're going on holiday, your followers and audience don't think you've fallen off the planet because all of a sudden you haven't posted for two weeks. You haven't done anything. You haven't shared anything for two weeks. It's all about consistency. It's so important for you to be able to grow your business, to be consistent, consistency and patience, (laughs) Um, but be really, really consistent in your social media, consistent in your content creation. And if you batch create and really carve out the time to do this, you're never gonna have that stress of like, oh my God, what am I gonna post today? Oh my goodness, I haven't written a blog in six months. No wonder my SEO is through the floor, (laughs) okay? So that is my super simple batch creation um, technique for you. It's exactly what I do in my business. I highly recommend you get an assistant, a VA, someone that can do that for you. Or if you're really um, wanting to make sure your blogs, you know, maybe blogging is your key focus, get a copywriter to go through those transcriptions for you to make sure that they are really beautiful and, and, you know, are gonna make the impact that you want them to make. So that's my system. Let me know if you use it. And if you've got any questions, hit me up in the DMs. And remember, 23rd of March, we start some free training inside Freedom From One To One. So you don't wanna miss that. It's gonna help you transition easily (laughs) without any overwhelm from purely trading your time for money in a one-to-one practice, but actually allowing you to incorporate a one-to-many model at the same time. So you can either jump ship 100% or you can start slowly transitioning in a one-to-many model to increase your revenue, increase your reach, and help more people. So 23rd of March, pop it in your diary and come over and join us in Freedom From One To One. See you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to the Fakest and Fearless podcast. 
If you'd like to continue the conversation or have a question that you would like answered in an upcoming episode, head over to Instagram and connect with me at Heather Angel Coaching. If you enjoy this podcast, please share your thoughts in a review on iTunes. I truly value your feedback and I take the time to read every single review. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you in the next episode.